What is up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. I'm Elliot Delp and today we're going to be doing a review of the Stag Arms 6.8. Should be a good little video so let's get right into it. So, like I said before the intro rolled, we're going to be doing a review on this Stag 6.8. This is called the Super Varminter. I uh, would like to give a big shout out to Stag Arms for sending it out. Stag is super big supporter of the channel. They're located out in Wyoming. Um, if you want to pick this rifle up, head on over to the link in my description. Uh, TakeSomeOneOutdoors.com forward slash links. There it will send redirect you to my page where you can find a link to Stag's website where you can pick this rifle up. All right, um, kind of how the video is going to roll out. We're going to talk a little bit about the specs first, and then we're going to talk about how it performed, and then we are going to talk about how I think that this rifle fits best, what I think it's best used for, um, whether that be hunting, self-defense, CQB, any of that stuff. That's kind of how the video is going to roll out. And before we roll out any further, I would like to ask you to hit the like and subscribe button. It would mean a ton. Also, go give me a follow on Instagram. Without further ado, let's dive right into the specs, all right? So this is like the 6.8 SPC. As mentioned before, it's called the Super Varminter. Um, we're gonna start from the back here and work our way forward. We have a Magpul MOE fixed rifle stock. Um, I'm a pretty big fan of the fixed rifle stocks. I just, I think they have a nice aesthetic to them. Um, and they, they equal out to a pretty good length for me. I don't have a problem. I don't really need to adjust them or anything. Uh, there's a compartment here in the back. If you just press a button, it pops open. You can store some stuff in there. Could be useful maybe for like batteries or something. Um, a QD point right there and right there. You have to have your own QD piece though and screw in. Sling point right here. Uh, moving your way forward onto the rifle, you have your upper and your lower receiver. The upper is and the lower is 70-75 T6 aluminum. Um, pretty standard stuff. It's anodized. It's pretty. It looks good. It matches the rail. Um, you have your Magpul furniture, so you have just your standard grip. It's not a rubberized. It's not the MOE Plus. It's just normal Magpul grip um, with a little compartment here at the bottom. Pop out the piece. Shove batteries or a rag or something. I don't know. Whatever you feel up in there. Um, for your lower receiver kit or the parts in it, it's pretty standard except for you do have a two-stage stag trigger, which is a really nice trigger from stag. You have your your uh, your first little bit, and then you have a nice click. So first little bit, click. Um, really nice trigger. It's, it's very crisp and clean. Moving your way forward even further, you have a 16 and a half inch rail. So this is pretty, pretty nice long rail. Um, it covers up a 20 inch 6.8 barrel. That's a 1 and 11 twist. So you do have a long 20 inch barrel, but you do have the rail that's covering a lot of it. It makes it seem as if it's a little bit smaller, but trust me, it's not when you're walking around with it. Um, still pretty big, fairly large rifle. I mean, it's a good size but it is what it is so one of the last features on it or i guess the lack thereof is that this does not come with any type of muzzle brake um, if you want to throw a suppressor on here or your own muzzle brake that something's going to have to be done um, aftermarket so you're going to have to take it somewhere to get it done um, that's probably one of my biggest i guess downfalls of this rifle um, every uh, everything else done pretty decent but that's that's one of the things that it's lacking okay so you might ask yourself what does this overall package cost it will range you around thirteen hundred dollars um prices constantly flux so between thirteen hundred and fourteen hundred dollars depending on if you're getting a uh, a new york compliant or a california compliant or if you're getting a left-handed version or a right-handed version it's 
in that ballpark. So thirteen to fourteen hundred dollars is what you walk out the door with this rifle for. And as previously mentioned, takesomeoutdoors.com forward slash links will take you to my website where you can find the link to Stag Arms, which you can pick this rifle up from. Everybody knows how YouTube is. It sucks, but that's that's how it plays. Alright? So let's talk about how this rifle performed out on the range for me um, and kind of my overall experience with it. So how I set this rifle up, pretty basic setup. We have a we have a SIG Buckmasters, um, I think it's a 329 uh, scope on it. Fairly simple, it's got a vortex mount, nice little setup. Um, I really like this scope a lot. It's a budget scope, but it does the job really good. I've had it on a few different rifles, uh, testing them, so I felt pretty confident putting it on the stag, and it's done pretty good, and then I just have an Amazon bipod, if I'm going to be completely honest with you. Um, nothing special there. Okay, The ammo that I was running through this was pretty much exclusively FMJ. I cannot find any half-decent uh, 6.8 anywhere um, hunting rounds that is but the FMJs were pretty pretty easily like sourced um, if I'm going to be honest it was easier to source the FMJs than it was 6.5 Grindles or any other kind of like medium AR-15 cartridge so I, I ran through a ton of it um, it did very well very accurate um, I was taking it easily out to 200 yards very consistently um, it was a great shot. It was sub MOA. It was a very well built rifle. Um, something I've, I have two other stags, and they're both really accurate and really well built rifles. Stag takes a lot of care when they do all their um, stuff. The finishes on these things are awesome, and uh, I, I have no complaints about any of my stags. They're very, very well built rifles. Okay? So let's talk about what you'd use this thing for. Um, I think this is exclusively a hunting gun. The Super Varminter, um, Coyotes, put a thermal on this thing and you could probably go to town on some Coyotes. Uh, White-tailed deer, another good one. Um, any type of varmint, hog, anything like that. The only downside to this would probably be the size of it and the weight. Um, usually what I like to carry for hunting stuff is usually a little bit smaller. I, I really like the 16 inch stuff or 18 inch. This one's a little bit bigger. It's got the fixed stock. It's got the little bit longer rail on it. Contributes to the weight a little bit. So that's one of the things that I think Stag could improve upon moving forward and threading the barrel. Um, I really wanted to run the can on it, but it doesn't have a threaded barrel. So that's going to have to be a down the road thing. Um, but that's what this is for. This is definitely a medium range. Um, well, I guess medium to long range. You could definitely stretch the legs of the 6.8. But it's, this is a hunting AR-15. And that is exactly what I would use it for. That is the purpose of this rifle. And I think if you are looking for a medium caliber, or I guess larger caliber AR-15, um, the 6.8 Stag Super Varminter would be a great option. Um, you could take deer with it, no problem. You could take any kind of small varmint without any any worry whatsoever. So it's really where it shines. Um, I think Stag did a very good job, and I'm I'm very impressed with the rifle. So that's kind of the whole spiel on it. Um, like I said before, if you want to pick it up, head on the link in the description. There you'll go to my website, and there's where you can find a link to Stag's website where you can pick up this rifle. Um, just Click it, takes you there. Pretty simple stuff. Okay? So, I think that really wraps the review up. I would like to say thanks again to Stag for sending this rifle out. It means a ton. Also, stay tuned. I think we're going to do some stuff to this rifle. Um, I think we're going to do a little modifications to it and, uh, and hopefully make it look a little bit better. So, stay tuned for that. Um, also, I want to give a big thanks to LA Police Gear. They're a huge supporter of the channel. Um, use code DELP, gets you 12% off anything over at LA Police Gear, whether it's plate carriers, optics, magazines, you name it, you can pick it up over at LA Police Gear, so go check them out. 
Otherwise, I think that about does it. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button. Follow me on Instagram. There you can see all the cool photos we take. And I think that about does it. I'll catch you guys on the next one. As always, take someone outdoors. Peace.